program. We've seen him very, very often here with some of the incredible work that they do at Paramount. And uh, the chairman, Ivor Ichikovitz, is here. He's with us at this incredible exhibition and uh, just standing under the foot of Parabot. This is brilliant. I love this, Ivor. It is a little bit of fun. It's our tribute to the amazing men and women that go out there and protect our democracies all over the world against fundamentalism. And it's also our way of celebrating the skill, the, the innovation, the energy that exists in South Africa that allows us to be a leader in this very difficult, very complex global industry. Yeah. Where, where did the idea come about? I mean, I'm spending a little bit of time on him because I think he's going to steal a lot of the limelight. He's going to, as I drove in, in fact, this is the first thing I saw and I'm like, hang on a second, is that what? What is that? So, I mean, where did the idea and how long has he been around for? So, he came about because Paramount as an organization is a bit of an anomaly. We're 22 years old. We're a South African homegrown organization that has grown on innovation and doing things differently. And we wanted to find a mascot that spoke to that, that spoke to doing things differently, that spoke to being creative, that spoke to be innovative, and also spoke about what we do every day, which is have fun. Yeah. And uh, Parabot was the manifestation of that. And he is, is a lot of fun. Oh, well, listen, I'm glad you say you have fun because in and amongst the fun, you're coming out with um, firsts. You know, firsts for the African continent, first for South Africa. Uh, we spoke about ARLAC, but now there's the military version. There's a factory opening up next year. Talk to us about some of the developments and some of the things. I believe you're also going to be unveiling a military vehicle here today. So just talk to us about the things that, are, that, that, are, that you've got up your sleeve. So AAD for us is an opportunity every two years. It's an opportunity for us to reflect on what we've achieved in the last two years and to project forward what we're going to achieve in the next two years. And if you look at where this industry has come under very difficult circumstances, this industry is today a huge industry. It probably employs between 15 and 20,000 people. It contributes 19 billion rand to the economy of this country. And it does so in an environment where defense spending in South Africa is uh, as low as it's ever been. Um, and we've gone out and we've become major global players. And there's an entire industry of subcontractors and, and partners that, that do this stuff. And one of our greatest assets is that we keep innovating. We keep coming up with new products. We keep coming up with cutting edge technologies. And we d we've done that with ARLAC. ARLAC is extremely exciting. Young South Africans, whole, wholly African um, skill and expertise that's gone into making this world-class aircraft and this year we're launching Mwari which is the militarized version of that aircraft which has been um, we'll see application all over the world in the fight against terrorism in border protection in anti-poaching activities in addition to that we're innovating in the the, the, the naval environment, we've, we've introduced a number of new vessels, we're innovating in the, the land systems environment, we are today still the world leaders in landmine protected armored vehicle technology. This technology saves thousands of lives all over the world in peacekeeping missions um, every single year and this year we're going to be unveiling our next major um, armored vehicle project which is a very advanced infantry fighting vehicle, one of the most advanced in the world and again we are so proud to make this African. That's fantastic. I know you've got it here. In fact, it's hidden away. You're unveiling it this morning sometimes. So, I mean, this is a big development for the company and for South Africa. I mean, really trying to, to get to the forefront when it comes to this industry and your company leading the way. Well, it's not just our company. The, the whole industry is innovating. There's some amazing companies in this, in this space in South Africa. You know, I'm a great believer in the fact that no economy has ever gone from a developing economy to a first world economy without a very strong aerospace and defense industry. And we so have that in South Africa. But I've been saying for many years that this is not just a South African asset. It's an asset of the African continent. And today, this, this, this year at AAD, our strap line is we make it African. And I think that there is an opportunity here to celebrate the amazing stuff that we do on this continent. You know, everybody looks at Africa with, with very jaded eyes. We see all of the problems and the challenges, but nobody spends enough time, or very few people spend enough time looking at the exciting, world-leading stuff that we do. And I think AAD and the defense industry is an opportunity to, to do that. Just on a closing note, this, this, um, this factory that you're going to be opening up, I can imagine it's going to be a huge em employee as well. I mean, you're looking at a lot of job creation. So we've opened up a number of factories over the last uh, two years. We've opened a big factory in Jet Park that produces armored vehicles. We've opened one of the biggest armored vehicle factories in the world in Kazakhstan. 
and early next year we will open the Mwari Arlac factory, sorry, the Arlac factory which is in Pretoria and that is a huge development for the South African aerospace industry. We will be producing Arlacs for supply all over the world in Pretoria. This will employ a lot of people. It will create an ecosystem around it for suppliers and for partners and we're very excited about that. All the very best for uh, these big developments that are happening for you. It's such exciting times for uh, the Paramount Group and it's been such a pleasure talking to you as always. Ivor, thank you so much. Thank you and thank you for being here to celebrate this with us. Indeed, it is great. I mean, it's so nice to be able to showcase this to South Africans that are tuning in, waking up this morning and seeing me standing at the foot of a Parabot. You've got to love it, don't you? I mean, last yesterday we were standing on sand dunes and today we're standing in front of robots. You've got to love this program. What's not to love? Let's take a break. News at 7 after the Stay tuned.